Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of Life of a Ninja Girl with your girl Winnie. It's been a minute you guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I know I blanked out. I did not give any explanations but it was for the better. So guys, a lot has happened in the last three weeks and I'm about to talk about an experience that I never thought I was going to enjoy. But yeah, it was my NYSC camp experience. Yes, I'm now a federal server. Sorry, federal civil servant. I think that is it. Yes, I'm a core member. And in this episode, I'm talking about the whole experience. All right, so it started when I got my call-up letter. You know, you definitely you have to register. And then you're going to wait like a period of four. I think I waited for like a week. And then it was the buzz that, okay, call-up letter is out though. And trust now, Nigerian system, network will jam. So I couldn't access it, but eventually I did. And when I did, I saw, <laughs> God, like talking about it right now, I'm remembering my expression. I was like, me, how? Guys, I was posted up north. Your base states to be exact. Yes, guys. The expression was priceless. I was like, what? How? But Because I wasn't expecting that at all. I wasn't. But I never even, never in my wildest dreams I expected that I was going to be posted to the north. But I was posted to Yobe State. My dad was like, how? My mom said, there is no way I'm allowing my daughter go to the north, go to Yobe State. How will she get there? Who do we know? And my sister and my cousin were like, calm down. Because my sister has spent, has lived in the north. She practically went to all the states in the north. And so she has experience and she was like, it's not that bad. Trust me, you're going to enjoy it. I'm like, are you serious? Is that the way Boko Haram is killing people? And she was like, my dad had to, like, that was the first time I went to check the Nigeria map, to be very honest, because I needed to find how, and then I saw that I was close to Borono. I said, hey, Boko Haram, my goodness. But then my dad was like, no, 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 that he, he, he made research. I was like, no, it's been a while since Boko Haram attacked in this state and it's not so bad. We could actually do it. Luckily for me, I had a friend that was posted to Kano. And I saw that Kano was close, a bit close to Yobe State. So she called me and she was like, Abebo, there's a flight from PH to Kano. I was like, oh, really? And that was on Sunday. So I think Sunday the 15th or 16th, I don't remember, of October. But she was like, it's, there's a flight to Kano that I think you should do that since it's close to Yobe. I was like, okay, fine. So on Monday, I booked my flight. I started preparing, like, the rush and everything. I didn't know what to expect. And my dad was like, ah, it's a northern state. Oh, you cannot go and be showing your body the way you like to show it here. You cannot do that. This is not where you flaunt yourself. So you have to pack lights. Don't make, don't carry anything flashy. So you guys, <laughs> I practically packed like I was going to boarding school. I tried not to carry anything flamboyant or flashy. I packed really, really light. So... I got to, on my flight left on Thursday, and I was to report that Thursday, but there was no way I could make it because from Kano to Yobe State was four hours, so there was, and my flight was for four o'clock, so there was no way in hell I was going to travel in the night. So I got to the airport. It was like the flight was mainly for core members, cause, for prospective core members, because I saw a lot of core members, but I hadn't met anybody going to Yobe State. But trust me, I'm a social butterfly, so I was able to mingle, and I talked to some of them. So when we boarded the flight and got to Kano, it was one of the people that I talked to on at the airport that met some people that were on our flight going to Yobe. Like, oh, we need there is somebody from going to Yobe State or outside. So I met them. And thankfully, my sister, with my sister's northern experience, she had friends there that were able to, were very hospitable and they took good care of me. So the next day, I met up with the Yobe State um, core members. And yeah, we all journeyed four hours to Yobe State from Kano. It was amazing, really, because you know how you see all those stories in Musa goes to school, how the cows are the, their cattle are mainly their um, beasts of labor. That was exactly how it was. It was so, it was completely amazing, guys. Like, very sorry failing. And trust me, this experience is good. Like the experience, the story I'm about to tell is going to be so amazing. So stay tuned and don't don't go anywhere. The moment you see it, just, just keep watching. All right, guys. And if you ever get posted to Yobe State's camp, 
I should be your plug. I should be the first person you refer that you you get referred to because I have so much to tell to encourage you. So you can hit me up at life of a ninja girl at gmail.com or life of a ninja girl. It's nine J A Life of a Ninja Girl on Instagram. I can't wait to get your messages. Hit me up, guys. See ya.